Pediatric cases of COVID-19 continue to rise and now account for one in every four new cases of the virus. ABC's Elwin Lopez reports some parents are seeking out vaccines for their kids younger than 12 and the FDA says that's dangerous. The FDA with a new warning as pediatric cases continue to rise. Last week, more than 250,000 children were diagnosed with COVID-19. The agency urging parents not to seek out a vaccine for children under 12 because they're not eligible, saying in part, children are not small adults. We don't know the right dosing for kids under 12. It may be different. We haven't seen the data on safety and effectiveness in kids under 12. So we really want to let the data drive this process. The country is seeing no fewer than 100,000 new cases every day for the past four weeks. Hospitals feeling the strain. ICUs in seven states are close to running out of beds. Kentucky now calling in more than 300 National Guard members to help with the surge. We're already at max capacity. We're already stretched so thin. Health experts continue to say this is a pandemic of the unvaccinated. Those who were unvaccinated were about four and a half times more likely to get COVID-19 over 10 times more likely to be hospitalized and 11 times more likely to die. On Thursday, President Biden mandating businesses with more than 100 employees to either require vaccinations or offer weekly testing. We're going to protect vaccinated workers from unvaccinated co-workers. The U.S. Surgeon General defending the mandate. If we want our economy to be back, if we want our schools to stay in session, We've got to take steps and make sure workplaces and learning environments are safe. But there is pushback. It's also fundamentally unfair to have somebody lose their job over basically a personal medical decision. Republican governors of at least 19 states have vowed to fight the mandates. Elwin Lopez, ABC News, Atlanta. On Monday, K-State will be awarding prizes to a few lucky faculty and staff who are fully vaccinated. Staff can win Apple Watches, Apple MacBook Pros, and gift cards. The drawings are going to start tomorrow and happen every week through November 22nd. Eligible staff will need to be fully vaccinated or show that they've at least scheduled their second dose. Workers must also fill out a vaccination incentive program survey on the university's website.